uh, a role model, right? You've been a great mentor and role model for uh, for this company. And again, I've only seen a glimpse of it, but I've heard through so many people that uh, that respect you and look highly upon you. So, um, what a wonderful career! And uh, the biggest the the word I think about the most when I think of you is passionate. Mm -hmm. You're a passionate architect. <laughs>
Elizabeth Watt, Jan Bison, David Brown, Elias Vasquez, Victor Perez, Papros Cluster, Duffy Rogers, Hilsha Gonzalez, and Marnell Rindolo. Thanks to all. A big thank you to these two fellows who have nurtured and mentored me grow professionally in my career and who also were patient and have given me the chance to work on some of the most exciting and challenging projects over 15 years. My first boss, the late Paul Chantiki and Elvin Kumera, sorry, of Kumera and Chantiki, one of the first, one of the oldest architectural firm in Richmond. This was my discovery years where I spent my first 10 years with the firm which laid the foundation of my architectural career. I was promoted from project manager to associate after six years with the firm. It specializes in healthcare facilities with major clients such as Kaiser Permanente Medical Center, long range master planning, planning and facility improvements throughout the Bay Area. Managed from schematic design to construction administration the following community colleges such as the Contra Costa County of College, the Diablo Valley College, and Los Medanos College, Chabot College, and Las Posillas College. Then in 1994, Comedia Chantiki had merged with Interactive Resources in Point Richmond, continued to work on community college projects, my introduction to forensic architecture and waterproofing mitigation was imminent, which led to, the, to my attention to details and organizational skills. To Kent Brown, Phil Bona, Kit Batista, Max Medina, Bill Louie, and Lisa Riker. During this time in 1991, involved in my K-12 experience with DESWLC joint venture, I had learned project scheduling, architectural staff budgeting, and project management from small to large projects with tremendous emphasis in multiple project management. In 2002, I joined the newly opened WLC's San Francisco Bay Area office, headed by Bob Hensley and Kevin Curry. I consider this as the apex of my career where I got to apply all the knowledge and I had a maze during the past years. I was promoted to senior PM in 2012. I had instituted the Lessons Learned series and co-developed the studios, project scheduling, Excel templates for K-12 small and large projects. My extensive knowledge and solid background working with the Division of State Architect, uh, Architects and Engineers Certification Program or Combined Certification Program. As Kevin mentioned, everyone in the Berkeley staff was hired according to their individual strength and abilities. It's been an honor for the past 20 years. I was given trust and confidence to have worked some of the most diverse and multiple projects worth hundreds of millions of dollars in construction costs, ranging from K-12, community college, higher education, Fusion Academy, personalized private school grades 6 to 12, low-cost housing, and public recreational facilities under the fearless leadership of Kevin McQuarrie and Lee and the late Leo Ray Lynch. Not to forget to mention all the people I have the privilege of enjoying working side by side with a group of individuals who are part of this original WLC San Francisco Bay Area office. I mentioned Aiko Fudo, Jenan Abdulor, C.C. Meng, Phil Bona, Lisa Riker, Greg Prucci, oh. Brian Brown, and Ben Kadam the late Tito Portea, Leo Rayinch, Brian Anderson, Michael Terry, Dennis Onubia, Wendy Wang, Ed Bueno, Jenny Wolf, Sarah Pachelko, Lloyd Dye, Mike Betko, Raul Rojas, Lila Pat, Derry Hsu, Chris Wu, Therese Eslodowska, Amy Chan, Jacob Warren, Janice Ye, Mary Beth Luster, and Peter Sue. What a name I mentioned. Please allow me to tell a story how my career began. <coughs> Once in a lifetime or twice, everyone has a turn back moment. 
is the moment you can either go forward or give everything up. There's one guarantee, if you give up, it will never happen. Faith is everything. God is always on time. He never too late. The leap of faith happened when my entire family immigrated to the States in 1983 with $300 in my pocket. This was my first turn back moment. But first, let me rewind back two years before coming to the U.S. In 1981, I was an OFW, an overseas Filipino worker in Riyadh Kingdom, Saudi Arabia. I was hired as an interior architect by SASCO, a Saudi American joint venture from Boston and Massachusetts and Riyadh. The company was a subcontractor to Bechtel Corporation, the world's biggest contractor, multi-billion dollar King Khaled International Airport project designed by HOK a well-renowned architectural firm. Our contract was responsible for the interior furnishing of the King Khaled International Airport Royal Terminal exclusively for the royal family during that period. I was responsible for designing the Royal Terminal Dining Chandelier and the Airport General Executive Office's interior. During that time, my immigration paper was approved in Manila in 1983. I tendered my resignation in order to come to Manila for my interview at the U.S. Embassy. My ex-boss, Peter Staterman, doesn't want me to quit my job. I was 25 years old back then. He knew that I would, I would have a challenging job search in the States and I will probably have a difficult time finding work because I don't have the local experience most firms are looking for, an entry level, more so an FOD, you know, press off the boat, candidate will fail easily. He said I would probably end up as a busboy. With my perseverance and determination, I told myself that won't happen to me because I'm a doer and a hard worker. I have my college degree in architecture and Philippine license architect under my back. I was so naive not knowing that at the time, without a U.S. college diploma or California architectural license, Landing a job as a newly arrived immigrant could prove difficult and challenging. So after two months of job search, my hope was fading fast and about to go back to Riyadh where my old job was still available for me. So luckily I found an ad at the AIA San Francisco office along Market Street. It says an old established architectural firm in Richmond seeking for an entry level position. That's perfect which only 10 minutes drive from my brother's home in El Sobrante. This was a huge opportunity at the right time when I was about to quit my first architectural job search in the Bay Area. During my job interview, Paul Chantiki said, my resume was great and with impeccable international experience to boot, but I don't have the proverbial local experience and he won't hire me. But I insisted, if you don't offer me the job, then how can I establish my local experience? It was, turn, it was time to turn back and decide. So how can I establish my experience? Desperate time called for desperate measure. I made an offer he could receive, try me for two weeks and we'll work for free. He said, really, are you serious? My two weeks job trial caught his attention and he hired me Paul was impressed. He said that my skills are now at par with graduate architect with equal experience from American graduate design school, but young, eager, and hard worker. My first boss is a first generation American born son of Italian, Italian immigrant. He literally had given me a chance to carve my new life in America. This was my humble beginning of how I started and carved my life here in America. I became a natural citizen in 1991. Every day we can be what we want to be and decide. I am sure you have your own turn back moment story of our own. Please indulge yourself and listen to some words of wisdom from a famous astrophysicist, Neil deGrasse Tyson. 
What is the value of curiosity? When you think of K-12 education, even college, how do you value curiosity? How do we define being educated? They test you on how much you know, right? They test you your depth of curiosity. And so for all of us, coming out from college, or if you're not curious, your education has failed or ended. But if you remain curious, you will continue to learn from the rest of your life. If you think of curiosity, you think of something that we have seen since childhood, but often that gets lost. It gets lost while in school at some point. The majesty of natural world and learning about it somehow become a chore. And that concerns me because you spend many more years not in school after you graduate than you would ever spend in school. But you think what happened in the last week, you get exams, they test you, last week from your senior high school, last week of senior college, you're tested. Or to pass the architect's licensing exam, you are tested. And we think of that at the beginning, the end of your education. But if you're curious, as we know, all when as the children, if you retain that curiosity through the last week of school, then that last week of school is not the beginning of the end of your education. It is the end of the beginning of a life's learning. And that is a cosmic perspective. As I move to the next chapter of my life, I wish you all best of good luck. I, will, I hope that PBK will continue to win more major projects, more prosperous, and I'm sure the best is yet to come. Again, I hope that the legacy I left to the company is worthwhile. I will forever grateful to all of you, to my family, my three children, AJ, Chelsea, and Gabriel. All that has been thanks, all that will be yes, and above all, without God's divine intervention, this is not possible. You are part of my amazing journey. Lastly, wishing that all wonderful folks in the PDK stay curious, inspired, passionate, and focused while maintaining the highest integrity in what we do best. P.S. If you need something, don't hesitate to message or call me. I'll be changing my number. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll be there to help. Aslava out. So he had like a microphone. So just wanted to uh, take this time to thank you for uh, for your friendship. Um, congratulations on uh, your retirement and just all the best for you. Just wanted to personally thank you as my good friend. I've learned a lot from you, um, both in architecture and our friendship, and uh, I'm sure the entire the entire PBK family uh, thanks you. Thank you for. Um, all the work that you've done and the contribution you have made. So um, just all the best for you and um, 
Don't forget about us when you are enjoying your retirement. So, all right, take care. Hey, Omar, what's up? You're retiring soon. Well, uh, we wish you luck in your new chapter of your life, and uh, hopefully you had fun. Uh, chill in, relax, and um, we'll see you soon if you got bored. Uh, we're just right here if you need some work or something to do. I know you're going to do some... Um, woodworking and painting and maybe you can share those to us all right have fun <laughs>